Mm -hmm. um, okay. And you have, you know, you have a lot of these comments and a one viral post, but then you look at the rest of their path, their, their, their images and the media and there's nothing. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. welcome hi thank you for having me <laughs> awesome you are in a space that i feel very passionate about which is food and even more passionate about which is the specifics of nutrition and i actually did a video uh i think it was uh 2020 later because i was on a mission to lose weight and i employed a nutritionist it did not end well so, let's talk about <laughs> your journey how did it start you know with your content creation you have a little over 2000 followers where did this all begin why did you decide to be a content creator so a little back going back in may 2020 the pandemic hit and just like everybody else i was thinking well you know this is going to be a three months you know i could just relax and I always had a passion for food and with my background for nutrition, I was always cooking food on video calls on FaceTime with my friends and they were like, you know, you should post videos online. I was like, you sure? You sure people would like that? People would follow that? And I went ahead with it. I think my first post was even on a story just on how to clean your fruits and vegetables during COVID-19 and people really enjoyed it so I started posting weekly then I posted a recipe which was stewed chicken in orange juice and that just went wild people were like what what is this what madness is this <laughs> right and then after that it just kept growing and growing I got more followers got more opportunities and I really grew a passion for digital creation I thought how hard it was but I definitely grew a passion for it <laughs> Like, I remember telling my best friend, uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to post this at 2 p.m. on Sunday. 1.50 reach. I was like, okay, 1.59. She's like, you ready? I was like, no. <laughs> 2 o'clock reach. She's like, hello, where's the post? I was like, it's coming, don't worry. <laughs> I was definitely really nervous. But once you trust yourself and you trust your gut and you know that you put time and effort into this content, trust me, and... You post it, your audience, they will enjoy it. Yes, you may not get a hundred likes, you may not get, you know, a million shares, but your audience, once they're loyal and they trust you, they will enjoy it. In general, a lot of people are saying that Instagram stories has been something that they are more likely to spend more time on and less time on posting on the main page on the grid. Is that same for you? I believe it started with more and more focus on instagram stories but then i eventually grew to love the feed because there's so many different features so you could do igtv you could do reels even though that's kind of shaky in the caribbean right now you could also do videos which i really enjoy doing and of course there's your static post as well so there for me there's a wider variety of options on the feed itself what is the demographic of that audience meaning your age the gender and location so starting with age, my like 73% of my audience is between the age group of 25 to 34 and 65% women, so bigger for the ladies. And then 71% um, of my audience is from Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of them are from Cuba region, which is quite interesting because I live in the East, right? And then the second largest location would be the United States, followed by the United Kingdom. What's your engagement like? Because it's interesting, especially in my space, I uh, run an agency and I speak with a lot of clients, so it's B2B. And there's this concept of, you know, a lot of followers. I will never forget I had a conversation with one of my clients. They're like, oh, well, my competitor has twice or three times as much as you built for my platform. But then I love to bring out the engagement graph. So what about you? <laughs> I love I love that with engagement because that's actually what I focus more on versus getting more followers. So my following, my engagement, sorry, right now is around 8%, which is typically would be considered quite high, I believe, 
Yeah, so anytime somebody comments on something, I reply. If you reply to my story, I reply. I reply on you. I comment on your post. I if you if it's your birthday, hi, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you have an amazing day. I always try to maintain that connection and that loyalty and trust. I guess you've you've actually stumbled onto something because a lot of people don't know what to say or they have so much of an audience they can't respond. Mm, um, and you have, you know, you may have a lot of these comments and one viral post, but then you look at the rest of their path, the their, their images and the media, and there's nothing. Perfect. And <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. So the consistency is so important.